Another practical point is significance tests are a bit different in mixed models. They're based on, I won't sort of show exactly how they're calculated, but they're based on something called walled F and T tests. Some more basic packages will do walled chi-squared tests, but these sort of are making assumptions and approximations. It's better if you can to do F or T tests. Um, very similar to the F or T test you would get from an analysis of variance or a re regression. But the important thing about these tests is that the degrees of freedom need to correspond to the variance I put the contrast there, but that's just something that goes into the test. The, the appropriate variance for the test and reflect all sources of variability. So for balanced or complete data, it's going to be quite straightforward and the denominator degrees of freedom for the F test is going to correspond to one of the either the one of the random effects fitted or to the residual. So things are quite simple then. But if you've got unbalanced data or some missing data, it's less forward to, in fact, you can't really calculate the degrees of freedom by hand because it needs to reflect the different sources of variation. And there is an approximation available due to someone called Satterthwaite. That's been around. Approximation dates back to a publication in the 1950s, but it's still used as the main one used now. And that gives you a different degrees of freedom. So really, for now, I just want to highlight you will get these odd-looking degrees of freedom, which are not an integer number. They're going to be, that's because they're calculated from different, the different sources of variation. And this is just some output from SAS for comparing treatments in a study looking at three different treatments. So there were three comparisons of the three treatments. And they've all got, the comparisons all have slightly different degrees of freedom because there were a different number of patients receiving the different treatments in the study. And the overall test of treatments, likewise, well, it says 25 here, that wouldn't be exactly an integer number either. That'll need to be calculated from the different, using that Satterthwaite's approximation. So don't worry about all the details of this. It was really just to draw your attention to there's something a bit different about um, the significance testing in mixed models, and you will get sometimes odd-looking degrees of freedom if you've got unbalanced data.